Hi there, welcome to Home Schooling with Hera. Hope everyone is well. In today's video, I'm going to complete the list of 75 English phonograms. This is the part 2 of this video. In the first part, I told you about the 25 phonograms that are used to give the vowel sounds. And in this video, I shall tell you about some consonant and vowel combinations and only the phonograms that give consonant sounds. If you haven't watched the part 1, so the link is in the description box, you can watch it later. For now, let me just explain a little bit about phonograms, that phonograms are the symbols that represent sounds, right? Phono means sound and gram means symbols. Phonograms could be single letter phonograms and they could be multi-letter phonograms, right? Like these. So come on, let's get started. This is a four-letter phonogram and it may say the broad sound of vowel A, that is A, as in the word taught, and it may also say off as in the word laugh. In American English, they pronounce this word as laugh. So I have also written here this pronunciation, F, laugh or laugh. Then we have C-E-I. If you know the rule that I before E except after C, so this combination must be familiar for you. But the thing is this, that this rule has lots of exceptions. So to make things easier for the children, we have made this combination as a phonogram. That whenever they see C, E and I, they will read it as C, as in receive. This sometimes proves to be a tricky pronunciation for children because we pronounce it three ways and the movement of the tongue is a little bit difficult for the non-native speakers, right? So you can pronounce this phonogram as ed or simply d or simply t. Ed pronunciation as in traded or wanted. D pronunciation as in pulled or called and t pronunciation as in picked or stopped. If you want to know the rule that when do we pronounce which way, the link is in the description box. You can find it out there. Now we have O-U-G-H. O-U-G-H has six different pronunciations. Yes, you heard it right. It has six different pronunciations. The one is the short O sound, then the long O, then the long O sound, ow, af, and off. Let's see the examples. The short O as in thought. The long O as in though. The long U as in through. Ow as in bow. Off as in rough. And off as in trough. If you want to learn more about these pronunciations, the link is in the description box. You can check there. Now let's come to our controlled vowels. In American English, if a vowel is followed by letter R, so letter R dominates over the vowel and say its sound. However, in British English, if a vowel is followed by letter R, we do not pronounce letter R clearly. Rather, we have a mix of the two sounds, the vowel and R. So let's see these words first with American English and then I will tell you how to pronounce them in British English. This is R as in her. This is also er as in bird. Again, er as in blur. Er as in learn or search. Then we have r as in car. Then r as in fork. And then we have this combination w-o-r that we pronounce as w-e-r, were. War will say were. Now let's see the British pronunciation. If the word is her, so you will say it her, her. If the word is bird, so you will read this IR sound as a uh, bird, bird. It's something like a little disgusting sound, a uh, like this, okay? Then you are will also say the a uh sound as in blur. The photo is blur. E-A-R will also say the same, learn. Let's learn this, learn. A-R will say, ah, uh, open your mouth and say, ah, uh, as in car, 
or far. Now we have OR. OR phonogram says OR in British English. Like this word will be read as fork. Fork. Not fork. It will be fork. And this one will remain the same because in this one letter R is not making any difference. This is W who is affecting the vowel. W is the letter that also affects vowel. If you want to learn more about this, the video link is in the description box. You can find it out later. Now let's come to the consonant phonograms. This is B as in bin. These two together also say B as in build or buy. C says K and S as in cat and send. When C is followed by E, I or Y, it says sound. Phonogram CH says CH, K and SH. CH as in child, K as in school and SH as in chef. English origin, Greek origin and French origin. The pronunciation of CH only depends on the origin of the word. We don't have any rules for this. Even the native speakers need to look into the dictionary to find out the pronunciation of any new word with CH. Now let's go to CI. This phonogram says SH as in spacious. For SH sound, we have four different spellings. C I T I S I and S H. S H is the English spelling, and all these three are Latin. Now we have the two letter K. The pronunciation is simply K, and we use two letter K after a single short vowel sound. Then this is D as in dog. Then we have a trigraph D G E. It says J sound, but only at the end of word and after a short vowel sound. If you want to learn this rule or the rule of CK, the links are in the description box. Do have a look there. Then we have letter F and it says F, simple. G may say two sounds, G or J. If G is followed by E, I or Y, it may say J. Otherwise, it says G. Link to the rule is in the description box. Then we have G N. When G N are together, G is silent and we only pronounce N. But there is a condition. G N must be in the same syllable. Like the word sign. In sign, we only say N not G. But when we say signature, signature. Now G and N are in two different syllables. So we pronounce G. If you want to learn this in detail, the link is, you know where it is. Okay. Then we have G U. This phonogram say G or Gua. G as in guide or guilt or gua as in language. Then this is H and it says as in house. Then we have J as in jam, K as in key. KN is a consonant team and in this K is silent and we only pronounce that N as in no or knife. Then this is L as in log, M as in map, N as in nut. This is the phonogram N as in sing. P says P as in pan. Phonogram PH says F sound. This happens in the words of Greek origin like photo, phone, philosophy. Then we have the digraph Qua as in quilt. R says R as in run. S has two sounds, S and Z. If you want to know the rule when S says S and when it says Z, the link is in the description box. The examples are sand and his. Then we have X. X may say X sound and Z sound as in box and xylophone. X has some other sounds as well. If you want to learn them, you can check the description box for the video. Then we have the sh sound as in ship, again sh sound as in passion and S I may also say Z sound as in vision, Z vision, okay? Want to learn more? Check the description box. T says T, T C H is the ch sound again, but we only use this after a short vowel. Then we have T H unvoiced that is F and T H voiced. That is v, thin and this. Again, if you want to learn more, please check the description box. 
This is letter Y and it says four sound. The first is the consonant sound that is Y as in yell. The second is the short I sound as in symbol. Then the, then the long I sound as in sky and the long E sound as in pony. If you want to learn that when Y says which sound, check the description box. Then we have TI as SH as in Marshall. Then we have V and it says V as in van. W says W as in wet. WH mostly says W as in when or white. Then WR together give the ER sound as in wrong. If you want to learn more about why WR is used to give the ER sound, you can find it out in the description box. Then we have the last letter that is Z and it says Z as in zip. So that's all for today's video and this is the end of the list of 75 English phonograms. If you haven't watched the previous video, do watch that. If you have got anything useful from it, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. And if you are interested in English spelling rules, phonics and English grammar, this channel is perfect for you. Just have a look at the playlist of the channel. I shall see you soon with something new. Till then, take care. Bye for now. And most importantly, make it a great day.